Hello and welcome to my unboxing of Pavlov's House, The Battle of Stalingrad. I, want to say, I was going to say this is the first Valiant defence game I've got. It's Christmas time, isn't it? So I've got Soldiers in Postman's uniforms, which I'm just currently uploading to YouTube, the unboxing for that. And I've got Pavlov's House as well, The Battle of Stalingrad. Which I think, I may be wrong in this, I think this was the first... David Thompson Valiant Defence game released, although he did create Castle Itter the first, which I don't own, so I think I've got that the right way around, not 100 percent sure. And the cover art actually done by David Thompson himself. All the Valiant Defence are solitaire based games. Pavlov's house was a fortified apartment building used as a strong point by the Soviets' 62nd Army during the pivotal Battle of Stalingrad in World War II. I believe Pavlov's house became sort of a symbol for the Soviet resistance. <laughs> in fact, he actually says it here, so I might as well just read that. Yeah. The story of Pavlov's house was a key piece of Soviet propaganda and was used as a symbol of the incredible resistance of Soviet forces during the Battle of Stalingrad. So in Solitaire, you take control of the defenders of Pavlov's house. You also control the key leaders of the Soviet 62nd Army. Well, you can play cooperative. One player calls the defenders of the house. The other controls the Soviet 62nd Army, or competitive. One player controls the German attack as well, one or two players control the Soviet forces. Um, so players one to three, which I, um, yeah, I'm trying to think well, where the three players comes in, but yeah, you've got, you can have one as the defenders of the house, one as the Soviet 62nd Army, then the German attackers themselves as well. Complexity moderate. Let's have a look in the box. I say I've just done the unboxing for Soldiers and Postman's uniform, so I'm expecting this rule book to be laid out very similarly. Um, I was talking about in the last one about by stealth and sea, which I own, and uh, Soldiers and Postman's uniforms a very similar style. A rule book, and I, I do I do like these. They're very easy to follow. And this does also plenty of illustrations you've got here. Goes through the different phases of the game. Wehrmacht cards. I'm planning on doing a few. Um, once I've got the hang of these games, I'll do. Um, plan on doing a playthrough for each of them as well. Stayed. And then again, like you've got variants to make it more difficult to, as you get the hang of the game. What you need to track to win the game, different scores. Most David Thompson score uh, games are very difficult to win. You do well. So yeah, you've got increased difficulty and elite difficulty. So you've got thirty pages of rules, but you, don't, so you can see from that they're not writing heavy. So it's big fonts. Plenty of illustrations. I've got a mounted map, as all DVG games tend to come with, but I have also got a near three mat of Pavlov's house. So I'll not, I, I do like near three mats, I've got them for, well, with DVG, DVG games, I've got them for three Warfighter mat, uh, near three mats. I've got a couple of leader maps as well. I'm trying to think which I've got. But, um, B17 leader, Hornet leader, and Corsair leader. So I think I've got three of those. Um, yeah, so you, you, you've got distinct parts to this. So you've got, you've got that by the river. And, and I'm guessing what all these are, so I'm not going to do that. So you've got another another segment here, and then the house itself. So it's, it, the map is, is divided into three separate areas there. And the counters, very, very similarly laid out. So soldiers in postman's uniforms, double-sided, very nice counters. All these are got four sheets of counters there. And then you've got some player aids. Just one side, a Soviet card, so it counters on the very next cards. 
our dice. And let me just get this opened up, the cards themselves. So the cards we've got here. Hazlot's House. That's artillery attacking the building. I'll go through all these. So you've got Yunkers. Eight sevens. Rifleman. Pavel's House. There is a, an app. There's a game is available on iOS as well. I'm not sure about Android. I do have it, but I've, I've not. I knew I was getting this, so I've um, held fire on actually playing it. I always feel like happy for playing it when it's a physical board, anyway. So these look to be all your attackers. Yeah. German assault. Storm group. Let's have a look at the cards. And I've got operational sport tactics. Obviously, a lot of similarities to the, the other box I've just done for soldiers and postman's uniforms. Sent in the back. A few fog of war cards. Set of superiority. I think that more sense when I actually know the game itself, as I think I said on the last unboxing as well. So that is my quick unboxing for Pavlov's house, and I have to decide which of the two I'm going to play first. And I'm not sure. Pavlov's house may win on the fact I've got a near print map for that one, so I can get that out on. Anyway, thank you for um, listening. Thank you for watching, and I will see you soon. I hope.